This week's question comes through the website, and the person who asked the question also asked to be kept anonymous. So thank you, Anonymous, for your question. This time around, the question is, how do I deal with loss? And I appreciate that. It's something that, that I know that everybody has had to wrestle with in one way or another. It's a beautiful thing to think that on some level, nobody ever really owns anything. Nobody ever really owns any other person, for sure. And it's equally beautiful to think that because we're all connected in so many wonderful ways, there's a level at which you can't ever really lose anything. And it's an amazing thing to think these big, beautiful ideas. It's an amazing thing to get to the place where we can feel a, a feeling of loss, a feeling of, of heartbreak and so on, and use it as a reminder about the way the universe really works and use it to grow. And that's wonderful. But the truth is, when you're in the middle of some kind of a grieving process, it can be pretty tricky sometimes to remember that. So let me say this instead. The way that you feel is okay. The way that you feel, if you feel lost, if you feel heart sick about something, I want you to know, first of all, that you're allowed to feel that way. But let's get to a place where we feel something strong and big and deep, and we say, well, at least I can feel something strong, something big, something deep. At least I'm here to feel that feeling. It might have seemed like my whole world was going to end when I experienced that whatever it was, and yet... Here I am. And if you can just start with that little teeny bit of thanksgiving, you can begin to grow from that into something that feels a little bit more healthy. Growing in that way is what this is all about. And in almost every single method of growth, every kind of spiritual practice, every kind of whatever it is that helps you grow, whatever you want to call it, there's almost always that moment of cleansing. Usually in a religious place, when you first enter the door of the temple, or of the church, of the whatever it is, there's some kind of a cleansing. Sometimes that's the holy water at the door or a certain uh, set of words that you say. Sometimes there's a sacrifice that's placed on the altar. One way or another, there's sort of this universal message that when I'm in a special place, I cleanse, I let go, I give over. And it doesn't have to be a physical place. I bet you and I have both had that feeling of, you know what, I'm too big for that old idea anymore. I know a little bit more about who I am. And with the exact same feeling that a kid feels when they realize they've outgrown their old clothes and they got to go shopping, with that same kind of joy of transition, we can give over the old ideas, the old me. I don't need that anymore. Those old relationships, that old idea of what love was, for example. And I just give it over. And that kind of triumph is really awesome when we choose it. But you know what? It can be equally awesome when we didn't consciously choose it. Sometimes, as you and I both know, life just sort of takes away the stuff that doesn't need to be a part of us anymore. Sometimes it can feel pretty scary. Because sometimes we can place our identity in some other person or place or thing, and sometimes they just go. But let's get to a place where we say, wait a minute, I thought that was me. I've put all of my identity in that thing, in that person, in that whatever it is, and it's gone. And yet, here I am. So through the heartbreak, through the sadness, through the loss, let's get to a place where we realize, wait a minute, I just learned something about me. Maybe the universe just needed a little bit truer, a little bit purer, a little bit more honest version of who I am, because here I am. And those old ideas are gone, whether I chose to get rid of them or whether they just went away, here I am. Feel the feelings that you're feeling, it's okay. But remember, the best way to honor that old relationship, that old idea, that old whatever it was, is to live better is to be healthier, is to use the freedom that you've found to grow a little bit more. Because the truth about you, the beauty about you, the love about you, the strength about you, the power about you can never be taken away. So if other stuff has to go away to let you see that more clearly, so be it. Thanks for being who you are. Thanks for sharing these videos. Thanks for subscribing to these videos. You're making all the difference in the world. Take care.